Hi friend, welcome to plus 2 net. Download the source code from the URL given at the description and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. In this like query tutorial, there is a list of exercises and uh, it is here. This uh, list of uh, questions we will try to solve. You can download the solution here, the SQL file, you can directly run it. And uh, before that, let us collect a student table. The student table is here. Let us copy the SQL. For our uh, using our like query, we'll use your MySQL workbench, but you can use your PHP MyAdmin also. We'll part of the query towards the end will be executed by PHP MyAdmin. Now, the advantage of using uh, like is it need not be exactly match. So in a wire clause, when you compare a string, you need to be exactly match. But suppose we know a part of the string only, then it is better to use like query so it can pick up from anywhere. Now let us first create the database. My DB. You can give your own name. Your okay. Now create a. Then let me use my db now fine i will paste the fine all the records here let me just close this part fine you can see clearly now if i'll execute all the queries i will okay so now my tables are student table is ready inside the database i can go for the uh, executing the query We'll collect uh, records now. Now I am writing my select query. Select uh, star from student where name. Name is my column. Name. I am using like. Name like. Now I am using. Uh, suppose let me just pick up all the names which starts with John. Now the I will put a percentage. This note this symbol percentage as a wild card I am using. So the the string should start the name string should start with John and it can contain anything after that. So this percentage mean you just easy to remember it is it matches with anything. So it should start with John. Now let me execute this query. Fine, you can see the two records we got, we got John as the starting, not anywhere else. It is only at the starting John should be there. Now let me just go to end of this. Means the John should be at the end only, not at the starting. Okay, I am giving you the numbers. These are the solutions to the questions. You can, numbers are this. Okay, now let me execute this. Now I am searching for John at the end, not at the beginning. You see the wild card is first means anything and but it should end with J O H N. Okay, fine. Now let us execute this. Yes, you can see there are three records ends with John. You can see here these three records are there. Now I am not sure that it starts or ends with anything. It can be anywhere. So for that, let me just give this as third solution. Now let me put the both the ends of wild cards. Now you can see the John can be anywhere. Right? It can be from the beginning, it can be end or in between also this word, but this word should be there. Now let us execute this query. Fine. Now you can see so many records. This record starts with John. These record here you can see the seventh record ID is seven. John is in between. So it picks up all the records, either it's starting with John, ending with John or anywhere in between John. So this is how now, this is the basic common use of it. Now we'll go for another query where I'll be searching for a name. It starts with A and ends with N. Let me delete this. Fine. Now this is the solution number four. Okay. So it starts with A and ends with N all the records so this wild card is i am placing it in between so this meaning is anything can be in between but the starting should be n a and ending should be n let me just execute this yeah you can see this there's only one record which matches this condition this starts with a and ends with n so 
but uh, there will be a question okay fine what about uh, these are all case incentives sir so it is a small letter and capital letter are treated equally now let us go for a case sensitive search how you will add a case sensitive to this now let us name like here i will write the word binary binary and let me just search for the anywhere it can be it can be a no and it can be anywhere now this is this my solution number 5 so let us execute this query fine you just see the no the no word no is there only in one because we have given lower case so it has picked up only one record you can cross check it by removing this word binary from here now if i'll remove this word let me execute this again and see now i should match more record yes you can see there are more records are matching now because i have the restriction of case sensitive or uh, matching i removed we will learn about one more wild card use that is underscore uh, here the difference between percentage and the underscore is while uh, underscore gives us anything of a particular character it's as anything more than one character we could have matched by using percentage now we can use underscore to match one character only let us start now what we will do we will uh, select all the let us copy this i think okay let us copy paste this this is solution number 6 fine select from student where our we will also learn how to apply it like on a numeric field so we will use uh, mark like now i am using 9 and underscore now this what it will do it will collect all the marks in 90s where first digit is 9 second digit can be anything so i am comparing so in that case 100 won't come so it will only the 90 91 92 93 where the first digit is 9 let us see let us execute this query yes you can see it is 94 90 and 96 so all the 90s have come so sometime we may have to match against uh, suppose the six digit account number is there we want that account number ending with 424 or our last four digits of the credit card should match so we know exactly how many numbers are in total and the last four we are matching so in that case we can use number of underscores and the last four exactly what we want to use it let me paste again we'll go for another type now we'll understand how you can combine this like with or and combination and also get a very meaningful this thing now let us come to number 7 where name like now say alex is my anywhere it can be let's say alex or name like now it should should be deo okay fine now this i am telling it can be alex or it can be DA, it can have deo anywhere this two words anywhere it can be there and pick up all those records so let me execute it yes you can see alex is there or deo the first letter is based on this one and uh, because deo is present now i have used or uh, command now let me just change a little bit of this let me put again alex and this place i will use john now both the things should match now that's why both should be there so i am using and here this is our number 8 let's run it fine so we got matching one record only where both are present now just to make it easy what you will do we will uh, will use a or combination now instead of and we will use or so or name here let me put solution number 9 now anything either or alex will do or john but it can be anywhere so now let us see i should get more records now so see there i have got alex here 
Alex or John. John is there. This record is uh, Alex. Then the, all the record, either one of the two things, anyone is present here. Now, I will just make it uh, another change in this. What I want is, I want uh, name is like, I will put RO, fine. And, and he, he is in the, earlier we have used uh, uh, wildcard underscore. So, the so same thing will continue now. Mark like, and he must have scored above 90. So, 9, so let us, you remove this, 9 underscore, so let us remove. Now, what we are asking is, we are asking, name should be RO, anywhere it, in the name column it can be. And he must have scored something around 90 to 99. Let us run it. Yeah, only one record. See the name RO is there here. RO is there and he got a mark of 90. You can, this, this, this gives us the idea about how we can use the AND combination or combination. Not also we can use where it is not in 90.